Welcome to another edition of Team Member Spotlight. This is an opportunity for us to get to know other members uh, around the organization that you might not work with on a daily basis. Uh, my name is Jeremy Moser. I'm the Director of Communications, and I'm alongside the VP of External Affairs, Melissa Kelly. Hello, everyone. And today we, uh, we have a guest we've known for quite a while. Uh, she is the Director of Day Program Development. Her name is Abigail Pedraza, but she prefers to be called Abby. Right? Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to be with us today. Um, and, we, you know, we hope that this is, uh, this is pretty painless. We're just going to have fun asking you some questions you already know. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, awesome. So first question is, can you talk a little bit about what your position is inside the organization? Sure, that's probably the most difficult question. <laughs> it's that other job responsibilities that always gets you, right? No, but um, so I'm the director of day programs for the agency. Um, so majority of my job really is a balancing act. <laughs> so some of the responsibilities are assessing referrals that are received from the Department of, of Developmental Services and determining whether we're good. One of our programs is a good fit for the individual that they refer. And if it seems like it's not exactly a good fit, is there a way we can accommodate the individual to provide the type of service that will be appropriate for them? Um, so that's one thing. But we do have a diverse set of programs in our within our agency, which range from day services, which is more of like our GO, our GSO, our CEP programs that a lot of people are familiar with. That's usually where all the parties are going on. The food, <laughs> the celebrations, that's the DSO. Um, it's really recreational, going out into the community, doing activities, learning about healthy habits, just a lot of fun, but educational things as well. Um, we also have our transitional service program, which is an unpaid work training program to help individuals develop vocational skills. Um, ultimate goal for these folks are go get a job, <laughs> go keep that job. And at that point, once they get a job, they transition over to our CES department with Frank. Um, but we also have individualized home supports. Um, some of it happens in the community, but as you know, Wallstrom, there's some individuals that receive IHS services there. And really with these individuals, we're helping them learn new skills or a uh, retain the skills that they do have. Um, some of the things we help with them with is scheduling doctor's appointments, transportation to these appointments, um, grocery shopping, and paying bills. And then the other stuff um, is staff training, staff support, supervision, communication with stakeholders. And then the really fun stuff is the financials. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very, very busy, Abby. Uh, it's, yes. it's a, I feel like a um, little clown in the circus at times, but it's really <laughs> fun and I love it at the end of the day. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for explaining that. It does sound like a lot of work. So Abby, have... how did you decide that this is the type of work that you wanted to do in the human services field? Oh man. So I actually went to school. Um, I was a teacher for a few years and I did not land a contract. So it was more of like, um, at first it was a per diem almost type of job and it's like okay I got per diem but then I got a yearly and I'm like I don't know if this is exactly makes me feel too comfortable um I just needed a change honestly and I love the school and the educational system but I applied I always tell people don't give up um so I applied for the demons position as an employment specialist initially and I didn't get an interview and I kept applying because they, they had a vacancy all the time. I was like, oh, I'm getting in. <laughs> <laughs> so I got in about a year later and I absolutely loved working with people and just helping them. And you, I, you have a sense of accomplishment when they reach a goal. So I was like, oh, this feels nice. I'm staying here. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad that we returned uh, the call on your uh, your resume um, <laughs> because uh, this has certainly become uh, your home, and and so we're Thank glad you're here. Thank you. Um, so I'm curious. Uh, you know, the pandemic obviously has affected so many areas of our business. Um, how how did that affect the work that you guys accomplish in your world? I um. I mean, I am so proud of staff, honestly. Um, 
so proud of them just for the ones that are still here we've lost them along the way but they were still invested in doing the best that they could given the situ uh, the circumstances for our participants and i'm also really proud for of our stakeholders um they were able to make a an amendment to a waiver um, where we were able to, well, it's still ongoing for now, but provide virtual services mm -hmm. until we were comfortable and ready to go up and running again back in the facility. So we shut down around March 12th, our programs. Um, by April, or I believe it was either April or May, we already had virtual services up and running for all of our programs, which is fantastic. So our IT department is great as well. And Kristen, <laughs> <laughs> she helps so much. Um, so we were able to do that in the interim. Once we were open, we opened up around July 15th um, with precautions, with social distancing and mask. But we do a hybrid version now. So what we do now is we provide both in, in uh, house supports for those that are comfortable returning, but we also do our virtual services for folks. So it's um, very different, but um, it's a learning experience and we'll get through it. So it's all good. That's it, get through it together. Yeah. Excellent. Absolutely. What is, uh, if you were to think back over your time so far, what's one of the most memorable experiences you've had here so far? Oh man, I don't know. I have two. <laughs> Let's hear um, we'll take two. We'll take two. Okay. All right. So I'm the short. The, the, the one that really like touches my heart is I worked with someone when I first started for many years, a, a participant. And I remember I was going for a a promotion um, and she wrote me a letter of recommendation that I still have to this day. That letter of recommendation means the world to me because oh it's not coming from a colleague. It's not coming from, you know, a family member, a former employee. It's coming from someone that really didn't know me and we established a, a relationship. And um, so that I am forever grateful for. Um, so I feel like that's probably one of my, my treasures. <laughs> that's amazing. That's awesome. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, the other one was <laughs> where I was cursed out once. <laughs> so I was, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I was helping a participant. Um, I was an employment specialist at the time, and she marches into the office, and I, I didn't. I never met her. She just came in, referred herself, which is fine. Um, but she needed a ride right away to this interview, and I had another client. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't take you, and she cursed at me and, and stormed out. She's like, well, you can't help me, then I don't know where, and she left. She come, came back the next day asking me for a ride. I was like, absolutely, I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you can't take things personally. Everyone's going through such a, a battles and struggles and things we don't know about, um, but she's doing great. So I'm happy. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And I think that's a really good message considering everything we've lived through in the last year. Um, so, uh, so that's great. All right. So got to, to know you a little bit, but, but we're going to dive a little deeper with some rapid fire questions. So Melissa is up and she's going to take you through that. Yeah. So first job. Oh, um, I was actually paid while in, while in high school to take some college courses. It was a legit payment. So I guess that's my first job. Oh, that's a great first job. I love it. Uh, <laughs> cooking or baking? Cooking, horrible baker. <laughs> <laughs> to be very precise, baking. Um, what's your first celebrity crush? Shawn Michaels. He's a former wrestler. Yeah, that's yes. what I thought. Yes, oh, yeah. that. <laughs> I love it. That's so um, funny. What's your favorite word? Oh, Gabriel, don't do that. It's a phrase. <laughs> 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 and lastly, uh, what is your most used emoji on your phone? Oh, it has to be just the laughing face. I'm consistently laughing. That's, that's good. I mean, life is good if you're constantly laughing. Right. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, Abby, I really appreciate the time. Uh, to get to know you further. And uh, and so we, we don't have any other questions right now, but of course we could follow up later just with a call. Um, so thank you so much on behalf of myself, Jeremy and Melissa uh, and Abby, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll do another team member spotlight sometime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.